The Pareto chart is used to display types of defects in decreasing order or to count attribute data. Let's see an example in Minitab statistical software. First of all, let's open the Assistant menu and select Graphical Analysis to get more details about the Pareto chart. Under Graph the distribution of data, click Help me choose. If you have counts or summary data, select Identify most common defects on the right-hand side of the screen. Let's come back to our example. We are looking at some data regarding invoices, including the date when the invoice got sent, the date when the data got collected, and the number of days before payment occurred. Summarized in categories such as under 31 days, 31 to 60 days, and 61 to 90 days. Our objective is to determine how many times each category is represented in our dataset. Under the Stat menu, select Quality Tools, then Pareto Chart. Because we have attribute data, let's select Categories in the Defects or Attribute Data column. We can leave the other fields blank, as we neither have frequencies nor a split by variable in our raw data. We could have a split if we were comparing sites or departments, for instance. We then have the opportunity to focus on the 80% most prevalent defects and to combine all the remaining less important defects into one category. In our case, we do not have many categories, so we will not combine the remaining defects. Tick Do Not Combine. Click OK to create the Pareto chart. The Pareto chart displays the counts, which are the number of invoices paid over certain periods of time, the percentages and relevant percentages. Thank you for watching.